Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Yeri Sabonet with your Employee Assistant Program, Beacon Health. It is a pleasure for me to be here today talking about this wonderful topic, a Stress Reduction Toolkit. What a best time to talk about stress and how we can manage stress now when we are going through pandemic, where the economy is changing, where our workplaces are changing. So this is the right time to talk about stress. What is stress? That's the first thing we need to ask. What is stress? So basically, stress is just a response of your body. It's something neutral that there will be time where stress is positive and, and other times where it's completely negative. So let's see what we see here. A stress, a state of mental tension or worry caused by problems in your life. And some of these problems can be work-related, can be financials, can be family, kids, etc. As you can see here, sometimes stress is actually good. Sometimes we need a little bit of stress in our life, right? Have you heard about the flight or fight response? That is basically a stress. We need that adrenaline rush that move you to take action. So yes, there are times where stress is good. Another important thing to know is that the stress tolerance depends on each individual's. What caused me a stress may not trigger stress on you. So we need to be aware of this. And the first thing I'm going to tell you, it's open your toolbox and first strategy, self-awareness. Identify your triggers. Identify what brings stress into your life. And let's talk about the signs of stress. As I mentioned before, Stress can be good sometimes, but sometimes not. And when stress is something negative, it's when it's a start affecting you and it can impact you physically, mentally, emotionally, and also at your cognitive levels, the way we think. Let's say, let's talk about some signs of stress physically headaches. Sometimes you might experience headache every day. And one day you're feeling with headache and another day. But because we are living in a fast-paced life, we do not stop to slow down, to reconnect with our bodies. And we don't notice that maybe it's just a stress. Another thing is muscle tension, especially in the neck, shoulders area. Ooh, low back, that's another red flag. Hey, something is going on because your body talk. So we need to listen, shortness of breath. Sometimes we feel like we can't breathe and it's not COVID. There are many other reasons that will impact the way that we breathe. So if you feel like, shortness of breath, if you can sleep well, or you might feel low energy, those can be signs of stress. Also, remember I mentioned cognitive levels, the way we think, the way that we make decisions. So it's suddenly you notice that you are forgetting things, that you are having trouble concentrating that now you are not that fast to make decisions or you feel that you are worried all the time, slow down, people. That can be also stress. Emotionally, you notice mood swings. Suddenly, you feel excited, delightful, and boom, low energy, sad, frustration, anxiety. Or you might feel like anger all the time, like grumpy, those can be sign of stress too. Also behavioral, when we are going through a lot of stress and we don't know how to manage, maybe we start making some bad decisions like either eating too much as a way to compensate with stress, or maybe we stop eating. Maybe you're sleeping too much 
or suddenly you are suffering insomnia, or maybe you are abusing of coffee because you need to be awake all the time, you're having too much stress so you are over-engaged on your activities, and you might need more caffeine levels or alcohol. I'm not saying with this that if you don't, if you enjoy a little bit of wine once in a while, it's bad. But when you start abusing and losing that balance, it's when it's turning in something negative for you. If you have any questions, you can start writing it down until the end that I will be more than happy to help you. So remember I mentioned open your toolbox and I gave you the first strategy, which was self-awareness. Slow down, connect with your body, listen to your body, and identify your triggers. Identify what brings stress into your life. Because there's no way we can manage something if we don't know it. Identify that if the stress is coming from the inside or maybe from your environment. And when I say inner stress, there you have some examples. Sometimes we are comparing ourselves with other people or we want to achieve more and more. And unfortunately, we establish unrealistic goals, unrealistic expectations. Maybe we commit with so many things, so many people, and suddenly we realize that our time has limits. And all of this brings stress, fear, frustrations, and also fear and frustrations may trigger stress. Those are the stress that are coming from the inside, from our heart, from our thoughts, from our minds. But keep in mind that we also have environmental or outer stresses. And I mentioned some of them at the beginning, like financial situation. Woo, that's It's one of number one. Weight, your health. I don't like to say weight but more your health, if you are healthy or if you are going through some health issues or health challenges, those things are bringing also stress into our lives. Kids, family, relationships, right? Communication issues, work. So all of those aspects can also trigger stress into our lives. Okay, so oops. So a stress reduction toolkit. Number one, self-awareness. Identify your triggers. And once you identify your triggers, find your options. What can I do to manage this stress? For example, take a break. Remove yourself from the stressful situation. Become observer of your own situations. Exercise or practice some type of activities where you can release endorphins, where your body feels well, when you can distress and relax. It's healthy. Unfortunately, what you put into your body will have also an impact on your physical body and also emotionally. Unplug. There are times that we just need to take a break. We need to disconnect to be able to reconnect stronger. Write down, write down your blessings and what you are grateful about. Make sure you sleep enough, seven to nine hours for adults. Build your support network, maybe at work, maybe from your church, maybe from your family, from your gym. Just identify those people that will support you when you most need it. Practice breath work. Breathe in and breathe out. That is one of the most powerful things we can do. Positive self-talk. Sometimes negative thought will bring negativity and it becomes in a negative cycle. Just change your mindset. Remind yourself that it doesn't matter what you are going through. Everything is in order. Everything will be fine and ask for help when you need it. That's why we are here. We are your employee assistant program and we will be more than happy to help you. Developing a resilient mindset. Practice letting go. Give you permission to let go what it doesn't belongs to you. Maybe it's someone else's situation 
or maybe it's not in your control. Let it go. Release unproductive blaming, worrying. Accept diversity. Diversity is part of life and we go through up and downs all the time and that is life. And evaluate your options. Remember what I mentioned, identify your triggers, identify your options. What can you do to make those decisions that will help you break down complex problems into smaller accomplished steps? Be patient and flexible. This is life. And it's like a roller coaster. If you're here, you know that mm, sooner or later we're going to be here. But if we are here, we know that we are coming up again. Refrain situation. Learn from your learn from your past experiences and also bring a sense of humor into your life. Practice being mindful, completely present in the here and now. Enjoy what you are doing. If you are eating, enjoy your food. Enjoy your meals. If you are writing an email, do not allow any distraction. Focus your mind on what you are doing. Take advantage of the unique opportunities. Establish intentions every day. Today, I am going to accomplish this. Organize. Organization It's important. Acknowledge your thoughts with no judgment. Just validate what you are feeling. Validate what you are experiencing. Do not try to eliminate negative thoughts, but examine them and understand the influences. Remember what I told you. Negative thoughts bring negative thoughts. And it's just about doing a mindset change. Pay attention to your breathing and other physical sensations, your neck, your shoulders, your low back, and focus on being rational and logical. What the experts are saying, don't spread yourself too thin. It is okay to say no when you need, and you can find 100 ways to say no if you go online. Focus on what is important, on your priorities on the moment. Do not demand perfectionism from yourself. Remember, we are humans. And it's okay once in a while to make mistakes because that's the way we learn. Do something every day that you enjoy doing. And again, ask for help when you need it. I am representing today your e employee assistant program, and we are here to help you in any of those situations of life that you might be experiencing. Depression, anxiety, stress, grief, loss, any planning life events, here we are for you. I hope you have learned something with this webinar. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you. And I'm Tracy OKK. I'm with Beacon Health Options. And I'm going to walk you through, um, real quickly, walk you through the Beacon Wellbeing site and um, how easy it is to go onto the site and schedule uh, telehealth EAP appointments. So you'll see that I'm on Moog's In Life Services Beacon Wellbeing site. We're gonna go over here to get emotional support. So we're going to answer a few questions and then we'll take a look at the counselors that are available. So we're going to be getting, I'm going to answer these questions, um, you know, just as you would be doing when you're on the site. So we're getting emotional support for myself and where am I located? And we're going to select New York. And then we'll select the reason. So I'm going to select, we'll select depression, and family issues. You'll click continue. And then you'll see we'll have a few questions that come up for us to answer. It's going to take us just a couple of minutes. Um, first of all, the most and very important is we want to make sure that you're not experiencing any type of violence. So we will select no, I'm not. And then we'll let these questions come up and then just answer these um, appropriately. Um, as each one comes up. So I'm just going to answer these quickly. And this is going to be, you know, what have you been experiencing in the past couple of weeks um, so that they can, you know, we can see what's going on and get you connected with the best counselors. And you'll see this question is about alcohol use, you know, if you've had any issues in being able to stop 
using or if anyone has asked you to stop using. Um, now we're looking at how you're doing emotionally today. And you're just going to answer these on how you're feeling and what you've been experiencing. How's your physical health? Because that's important. Um, you know, all of this is tied into your total well being and looking at your how well you feel you're managing your finances. And then also looking at your support. You know, what, what type do you have people in your life that are um, available to, to support you as your support network? And then you're looking at resilience. How well are you able to manage life, life's challenges? Okay, and then we're gonna take a look at in the past 30 days, have you had any issues with productivity at work related to these, um, related to your concern? And then have you had any absenteeism at work related to this? All right, so we've answered the questions. And now you'll see that you are asked, being asked, how would you like to talk to your counselor, phone or video or in person? So for the purpose of um, our demonstration today, I'm going to select phone or video so you can actually see what it looks like to see the counselor schedules. And then here you'll see uh, several counselors will pop up that um, are able to work with you um, related to depression as well as family issues. And let's just click on, let's click on Rolando Perez. And you'll see, oops, sorry about that. You'll see here, we can see his, his calendar. He has openings on Friday of this week. And then if you scroll down a little more, you'll see an overview of him. And this gives you an idea of um, his background, what his specialties are, um, where he's located, the languages he speaks, and, and where he is licensed. And then, so let's take a look. Um, let's say this Friday at 10 a.m. works for you. So you'll just select 10 a.m. And you have an option of video chat or over the phone. So let's select video chat. And then you'll get to the screen where it says, let's book your appointment. And this will be the first place that you are asked for any information. Um, so you'll, you'll want to create your account. Um, I'm not going to fill this in because it will actually create an account and schedule an appointment um, with the provider. But you can see, you know, it's going to ask for your standard uh, demographic information. Um, you'll have some uh, items here to check off and acknowledge. And then once you've completed all that, you're just going to click here where it says book appointment and you'll book your appointment. It's going to... Um, fill in that slot on the provider's um, schedule, and then you will receive an email confirmation that you're scheduled, and you'll also receive um, reminders about your upcoming appointment. So it's really um, a great way, you know, for you to be able to schedule appointments on your own, have access to counselor schedules. Um, and of course, at any time, if you need any assistance or have any questions, this is the toll-free number for your employee assistance program. And you can reach someone there at the number 24 seven. So thank you. And uh, just let us know if there's any questions you have around this, um, you can add that to the chat.